an agricultural research company. Based off some research that we did over the past three years with our teammate Sophie Healy Tao, which eventually resulted in us winning the Google Science Fair. The winners are <laughs> Sophie, Ema, and Kira. <laughs> so basically, we found that using a natural bacteria called Rhizobium, we were able to increase crop productivity by up to 74%. So building on from this and bringing our research to a whole new level, we've decided that we're going to establish a company in order to continue our research. So this will allow us to take advantage of business support systems such as the Outbox Incubator. And just in general, if we're looking for investment in order to continue our research, this will be easier to do as a company. So I suppose looking to the future then we have some plans with what we're going to do. Obviously this summer is going to be spent doing personal development because we're predominantly science based and we're very much scientists trying our hands at business. So there's many ways that we could commercialise our findings. So our findings first of all is that by using a naturally occurring bacteria that lives in the soil and it works with peas and beans. But when we applied this to crops like barley and oats, we managed to speed up the germination rate by 50% and increase the dry mass yield by up to 74. So obviously this has massive implications, not only in Ireland, but all over the world. And this is where we really want to take the project and the company further. It's well known that we are going to need to feed 9 billion people by the year 2050. And obviously with food, uh, food scarcity already being a problem, this is going to be a massive issue which will need to be tackled. We're hoping that by using our past research at Germinate Innovations, but also our future research, that we'll be able to play a part in meeting this need. It's really important as well for us because we're lucky enough in Ireland, um, well, the two of us are lucky enough to have enough food on our table, but all over the world people are starving. And this isn't just in third world countries that we might all think, but it could be your neighbor, it could be your friend, could be suffering from food insecurity also. So this is something else we want to tackle and just make food available to everyone. So finally, I'd just like to say hello to everyone at InspireFest. Unfortunately, I can't be with you today because I'm actually in MIT uh, at a business program called MIT Launch. So I'm learning some skills that might help us with the future of Germinate. I've had a look at the schedule and it looks like the next few days are going to be really cool and I'm actually quite gutted that I'm missing it. But I send my best wishes over from Boston even though I'm not there yet, but I will be. And I know that I'm leaving you in the very capable hands of my business partner here, Emer. So best of luck to everyone and thank you Silicon Republic. Hello, my name's Emer and I am the capable hands that you have been left in. Um, I'm here to tell you just a little bit more about uh, Germinate Innovations and what it is that we really want to do. So I think the best way of telling what really is at the root of uh, our company is by looking at maybe the name and perhaps the logo. So Germinate Innovations obviously stems from the project that we worked on for three years, uh, which looked at germinating seeds. So you would think, well, why didn't they use a seed in their logo? Well, the thing was we discussed this. And we decided that no, we didn't want to stay a seed, we wanted to grow into a tree. But what really is at the heart of Germinate Innovations is ideas. Now ideas are crazy and they're amazing things and we have them every day from when we're eating our breakfast to when we're brushing our teeth. And they come from everyday activities. For example, our initial project that was stemmed from when I was gardening with my mom. So what we want to do at Germinate Innovations is we want to capture these really simple ideas, work on them, and see where they can take us. So as I said in the video, at the moment, we are still very much scientific research. So we're doing a bit more agricultural research, which is basically looking at seeds and looking at barley. And as Kira said, we're also doing some personal development this summer. And another word I like to call this is that basically we're having fun this summer. So Kira's in Boston in MIT, and she's learning all about bringing a scientific idea, or an idea in general, and the processes and steps to bring it to a fully fledged business. And then later on in the summer, the two of us will be going to the Outbox Incubator, which is in London and is run by the STEMETs. And I think we'll be hearing about that a little bit later. But there we'll be learning how to create, how to put a science idea like ours and put them into a business. So as well as having a lot of fun and making loads of friends, we're going to gain a lot of knowledge. And I won't lie, at the beginning, we very much will be taking baby steps. We have the leaving cert in 355 days. So yes, I'm counting already. So we're going to have to concentrate a bit of time on that. 
So this was me and Kira uh, four years ago. And, you know, I never thought uh, when I was 14 that I'd be standing on stage when I'm 17 launching a company with my friend. Or did I ever think that I would get any of the opportunities that I, that I did? And so standing here now, I don't know what's going to happen in the next four years either. I really don't know where this company is going to go. I mean, it could arise and it could flop. And, you know, I'm okay with that. And, you know, I'm really excited for the unknown. And I'm really excited to see where it will take us. And looking around here, I know that there's a lot of people in this room who have supported us before. And I hope that on this next adventure that you'll do the same, or if not, just support us from the sidelines. So thank you very much.